sit down and get ready. Today's tutorial will be the Kami theme from Street Fighter. Uh, this song is a throwback for the people born in the 80s, such as myself. This song came out in 92. I still have the Super Nintendo game. Still very dusty, but still very playable. So this is from the Street Super Street Fighter 2 New Challengers. And for those that can remember, the arcade game, uh, the new challenge is Turbo Edition with Akuma, and you had to go 13 ones in a row, and then you fight Akuma, but that's a different story. But going on, you're going to have your E-flat minor chord, which is going to be E-flat, E-flat, G, flat, and B-flat. That's the key that the song is in, is E-flat uh, minor, okay? So the first chords I'm going to go into and break it down is going to be E flat, then D flat. Hold on the D flat major, which is going to be D, D F, or D F, and A flat, D flat, F and A flat. So that's going to be your first chords. Then drop down to B major. Okay, and then if you're more advanced, you can pick, add little pickup beats between chords. But this is going to be the basic edition, so it's going to be E flat minor, D flat, B major. Okay, so it's You know, just play that rhythm over and over again. Play as many times as you want until you can get into the uh, rest of the song. But those are your opening chords. I'm playing in the octave higher so that you can see, so you can see clearly what I'm doing. So once again, E flat minor, D flat major, B major. Now I know it should be C flat because of the key that we're in that we're in but I want to make it easier for people so so those that are very technical you'd be able to distinguish that pretty easily okay okay so that's the intro chords now we're going to move on to the um, there's going to be a sending pattern, so we'll move on next to that. So the next section that we're going to play is going to be uh, the ascending pattern that you're going to hear that leads into the main melody. So I guess you can call it a, a minor bridge. No pun intended. So after you play the opening chords,
then you're going to shift down to a A flat minor chord then B flat minor B flat major and then D D flat major and then the D flat major is going to uh, descend downward dun, dun, dun. then you go into the main melody of so uh, you're going to play triads in both hands so I'm not going to really show the right hand I'm going to show the bass hand which is going to be A flat B and E flat okay that's the A flat minor minor chord okay B flat minor B flat D F B major then the D flat major brings you into the main uh, melody dun, dun, dun. you know sounds it's very 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 nice sound. So the way I play it is you arpeggiate the chords. Again, real quick. Okay. Real simple uh, progression. So if you're not used to these chords, I suggest that you get used to them, really. It's not that difficult. It's really step up in the scale literally. So it's A flat, B flat, B major, and then D flat major right there. And then it goes for the, the right hand as well. So hands together. And then you want to hit A flat, F, D. Because in the, in the song itself, you hear a guitar or another instrument uh, play three notes down. Do, do, do. Okay. Or it'll sound. And then you begin with the melody with that F right there. And if you're not uh, feeling comfortable enough to play triads with both hands, you can just play the bass notes. But, you know, go at your own pace, no rush. But it sounds a lot more dramatic when you have the, the triads going. And you can add your own tension to it if you want. And there's a degree of things you can do with it. But now that we've finished the easier parts, now we're going to get into the complicated stuff, which is the melody. So hold on. <laughs> 